In this video, we're going to look at differentiation from first principles. So we've got the graph of y equals x squared. So we want to work out the gradient at a point on y equals x squared. So what we're going to do, we're going to have take a point and we're going to say that the x coordinate is x. So we're going to say this is x, which makes the y coordinate x squared. So we're going to have x, x squared. Then we're going to take a second point a little bit further along the graph. So go a little bit further along and we'll call this x plus h, which makes the y coordinate x plus h squared because y equals the x coordinate squared. And if we take the tangent in between these two points, so if we draw a straight line between the two points, we are going to get something like the gradient. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to decrease the value of h until it gets to zero, and that will give us the gradient at that point. So we've got our two points. We've got x x squared and we've got x plus h and x plus h squared so we're going to have x1 y1 x2 y2 and the gradient is the change in the y over the change in the x so in this case, the gradient is y2, which is x plus h squared, minus y1, which is x squared, over x2, which is x plus h, minus x1, which is x. So we're going to need to expand this bracket. So we've got x plus h squared, which means x plus h times x plus h. And if we look at the bottom, we've got x plus h minus x, which is just h. So we're going to expand the bracket. So x times x is x squared. x times h is h x. h times x is another h x. And h times h is h squared. So we're just going to simplify the top line now. So we've got x squared minus x squared, which cancels out. We've got two hx's and we've got a h squared over h. So what can we do? We can divide through by the h, divide both terms on top by h, which will give us 2x plus h. So there's our gradient. The gradient is 2x plus h, but we are going to decrease the value of h until it reaches zero. So as we make h smaller and smaller, we make h smaller and smaller, bring it closer and closer to our point until it is at our point, h is going to become zero, so the gradient is just 2x. So we have differentiated x squared from first principles and it gives us just 2x. Okay, now we're going to look at differentiating x cubed from first principles. So if we have a point on the graph with x coordinate x, if x is x, y is x cubed. And if we take another point a little bit further along, x plus h, if x is x plus h, that would make y x plus h cubed. So then we're going to use the gradient. So the gradient is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we've got x1, y1, x2, y2. And we're going to substitute them in. So we have 
y2 minus y1, which is x plus h cubed minus x cubed. And that's over x2, which is x plus h minus x1, which is x. So we've got triple brackets on the top to expand. x plus h times x plus h times x plus h minus x cubed all over or x plus h minus x is just h. So expanding triple brackets, we're going to leave the first one. So x plus h and expand the next two. So we've got x squared plus hx plus hx plus h squared. Still got minus x cubed on the end, and that's all over h. So simplifying our expanded bracket, we've got two hx's. And I'll write the rest of it out. And now we're going to expand the other bracket. So we're going to multiply x by all three of these in the second bracket and h by all three of them in the second bracket. So we're going to have x cubed plus 2hx squared plus xh squared or h squared x I probably should have put. Let's change that. h squared x plus hx squared, multiplying by h now, plus 2h squared x plus h cubed minus x cubed and all over a h. Okay, they're simplified down this top line. So we've got x cubed, take away x cubed, that's nothing. We've got 2hx squared and hx squared, so we've got 3hx squared. We've got h squared x and 2h squared x, so we've got 3h squared x's, and we've got a h cubed as well, and that's over h. So we're going to divide through by a h, which gives us 3x squared plus 3hx plus h squared. So there's our gradient. And if we make h closer and closer to zero until h becomes zero, what are we left with? We're left with 3x squared. So that is our differentiated, that's our gradient. That's x squared differentiated, x cubed even, differentiated from first principles.